Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed the leadership of the Bloodsail Buccaneers, and that put a stop to their invasion of Booty Bay. Today, we're going to have a chat here with Deeg. How are you? Ah, the sea life. I ain't going to say it's the good life, but it's my life. When I get into port, I like to find me a good bottle of grog and some high-quality snuff. Nasty habits, but what's a pirate without his vices, right? So you can imagine how heartbroken I was to find out the herbalist here in town has gone and sold out of the stuff. Says his shipment got hijacked by those damned bloodsail raiders. I bet a fearless mage like you could convince him to share the goods, eh? Watch, get back. All right, so we're going to be slaying some more pirates today. A rainy day in Stranglethorn Vale. I know I said we we're going to go to Tanaris, but I think it's better for us to be here in, uh, in Booty Bay and Stranglethorn Vale for now. There's just a lot more quests for us to do. Now, where is the mailbox? We did put some stuff on the auction house. Just want to see if we got any sales. Alright, so looks like we got a couple. The recurve bow sold. Citrine sold. A couple of the BOE sold, so that's good. And iron ore sold. And then a bunch of other stuff didn't sell. But we made a little bit of coin. We're also going to pick up another quest from Seawolf yeah. McKinley, Scaring Shaky. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who don't pay their gambling debts. And there's, there are a lot of people who owe me. I think you can help me collect. First, there's Shaky Philip down by the docks. He owes me plenty after last week's game, and I want my due. But to get it, we'll have to scare him. Go out of town and hunt elder Misvale gorillas. Find a nice selection of giblets and take them to Shaky. Don't let on that they're from an animal. Let him think the worst. Have a good one. All right, so we're gonna get some snuff and some giblets today. I did queue up for a dungeon. And there just isn't many people trying to do ZF at the moment. Just too bad. I really hope we get into ZF. Probably like the best dungeon from 40 to 50, I would say. Mardon's pretty good too. But I don't know, I, I like Sulfur Act more. So I guess we'll go get the giblets first and then we'll make our way down to the, to the beach and slay some pirates. Hope everybody's doing well today. Doing pretty good. Had some leg issues with retail. I think it was pr pretty busy today. They had a Mythic Plus tournament, which was uh, pretty cool. It's always cool to see what classes are doing well. And we actually got to see some Evoker play. But it was from a healer. So it looks like uh, the healing Evoker seems to be pretty damn good. It makes sense. I can imagine they do pretty good damage and they have uh, the ability, like, pretty good uh, abilities to, like, get out of mechanics. And they also increase the movement speed of the party. So, it's an awesome buff to have when you're, uh, you know, racing in Mythic Plus. Can't wait till we hit level 49 so we can start doing some BGs again. It is a Call to Arms Arathi base this weekend. One thing I like about, uh, I don't know if Call to Arms was a part of, um, I don't think it was in TBC. But I have been enjoying it. It's nice just to have like a weekend BG to do, you know? And it even it even get, gives uh, access to the low levels. So even when, if you're like a low level, you can do the call to arms quest, or the call to arms, I guess, weekend event you can call it. What do we got here? Oh, iron deposits. That's good. Wish I can group up more of these uh, gorillas here. 
to kind of be spread, to kind of spread out. Remember these giblets being kind of rare? So where's this iron ore? I mean, yes, it's in an interesting, interesting spot, I would assume. Oh, it's a spot we can get access to. Oh, man, it's another one of these. <laughs> it's another one of these, uh, I think we have to come from the other side. I think just over here is where all the... There's a bunch of trolls over there on the other side. That might be the only way we can get this ore. To get up here. Oh, never mind. I may be wrong. No, I'm right. I don't know how the heck we get up there from here. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. It's just on the other side. <laughs> Our mining's at 197. We're almost at 200. Slowly but surely. We will get there. Maybe I'll do, uh... Try to group up three here. I can get this guy, too. Can I pull them all together? That's the question. Come on, get... Get grouped up! Oh. Okay, I wasn't having it. I remember there being another ore here. Alright, so we got our giblets. Now it's time to go get the snuff. Also, PTR for uh, Oldar's out. So there's been a lot of people trying out uh, Yogg Saron Zero Lights. I believe that's what it's called. <laughs> I never did that back in the day. I think I was just getting into the game at that point. Interested to see how hard it is. Alright, so here's the pirates. This will probably be our final pirate quest, I think, unless we pick up uh, Cortello's riddle. I just find it kind of weird how you can't, like, just run through them and, like, stomp their cast. It's interesting how they can just turn around like that. We might hit 46 today, I hope we do.
And then once we hit 46, we will be... F no, still got a couple more levels of Arctic Winds to get. That's going to increase our frost damage by another 1%. And the reduce chance for uh, melee and range attacks to hit us by another percentage as well. Oh, Night Elf Druid. Let's hide in this bush. See what we can do. That, does that work? We can shape shift that. Now he's going in the freaking water. <laughs> oh man. He'll be back. He'll be back for me, that's for sure. He'll be back quick because he's a night elf and he has... He just turned into a wisp. Kinda can't show any mercy to the druids. Or the, the alliance, that's for sure. They don't show any mercy to me. Try to group these guys up and then we'll AoE them down. Gotta go quick here. This druid's gonna come back and try to kill me. If that, that'll, that's probably gonna hit. Okay. Let's get our evocation off quick. blink through it? No, I can't even do that. He, like, casted the shadow pool from his back. That would work on a player, though, I think. Like, if they're casting, you blink through, blink past their cast before it goes off, then it probably interrupts it. Yeah, I think that true decided to go over to the island. Doesn't have time for for games. We get to kick that, yeah. I wonder if the pirates in the boats have, uh, snuff. That'd be actually a pretty good spot to go to. Probably do, I think everybody here has snuff. There we go, we leveled up 46. Get another rank of Arctic Winds, or Empowered Frostbolt. Increases the damage of your Frostbolt spell by an amount equal to 5%. Your spell power reduces the cast time by 0.1. I think that might be better for now. Yeah, I kind of like the reduced cast time.
Hmm. Or we can one shot one of these uh, guys here. Yeah, you can. Our frostbolts are getting pretty strong. I think we'll have to go to the boat soon. We're clearing out these... These pirates pretty quick. Counter spell up, so that's gonna suck. We got a couple more to go. So we'll head over to the boats here. I just want to see if the pirates on the ships have snuff. I think they'd have like crates of the stuff. Just lying around. Probably group up too. Play one. One. Did I get him? No, I didn't get him. It's terrible. Let's get this one. That's actually hit me. Right, come on, one worked. Let's keep running away. Did he cast another? Did he summon another one? Yeah, these shadow bolts are. <laughs> they do damage. Chest over here. I wonder if there's any snuff in this. Got a little bit of stuff there. It's getting a little bit more. Got a couple druids and a hunter there now. We'll bite this guy. And then we'll jump on the boat. So I was checking out the game of the year, uh, like the game awards, and I haven't played so many of the games that were on there. <laughs> I played a little bit of Elden Ring. I didn't beat it. I couldn't. I'll be honest. I, I want. I don't want to say this, but like I just couldn't. I couldn't handle it. I didn't want to like wipe and wipe and wipe again. And the thing is, I'm not a, a person who's like originally played the, the Souls games, but I did get the game. I was just playing too much WoW at the time. I, I, I think a game like that, like that's what this is what I thought when I was playing that game. It's not a game that you can just play for an hour. That's kind of how I felt with it. And I just kept on fighting the first boss that you meet right away. <laughs> and I felt like I couldn't keep go on unless I defeated him. And I just never beat him. So I just I guess hung up the, you know. I hanged it up after that, I retired. Like it's a game I feel like you really gotta immerse yourself into. 
But this year I hope to play more of those, uh... Oh, shit! See that damage? <laughs> Salt hoof. What's wrong with you, my guy? You're an animal. That charge was insane. He charges me again, I'm dead. I got no mana. Hopefully this does a lot. Oh, Salt hoof, my guy. No, no shit, he had some. He had snuff on him. I'm not surprised. He was amped up there. He literally hit me for like a thousand damage. Let me see the combat log. Yeah, Saltuff's melee swing for 922 physical, 6 absorb. It was a crit. 922 crit. That guy could kill you. If you're like a low level, like, you know, that guy could kill you right there. That'd be such a like a funny way to die in hardcore. Like if Salt of just charges you, smack. Get off my ship. I remember doing this quest on my rogue. I was I was scared. I was scared down here. Where's the guy? Does he have snuff? You're the captain. You're Captain Keelhaul. You gotta have snuff. Pretty crappy uh, captain's quarters, I must say. He's got a bench. Is it? Guys are having a rough life, man. Let's see if we can group up more of these guys. I think there's some more in the basement here. There's another one. Bring this guy to the store here. Where are they? Where's the next guy? There he is. Come on. That's a good little spot, I think. This would have been a great quest to pick up while we were doing these quests. Could have thought of that. Whatever, we wanted to come back and fight more pirates. Sogs oh, interrupted the wrong, <laughs> wrong person. Just do one of these, there we go. Didn't feel like messing around there. Oh, we got a chest down here. Let's see what we get. Not much. Alright, so let's hurt back to Booty Bay. Turn in these quests. I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Let's see how much XP we get. Any luck finding the goods, matey? Good show, Travis. And just before, I need to ship out too. Can't thank you enough, old friend. Be good. All right, Deeg, enjoy your snuff. What was that drug in Skyrim that the Khajiits would sell? Oh man, I can't believe I forget. Yeah, we gotta go see Shaky. <laughs> the Khajiits would always sell this, like, this drug that everybody was addicted to in Skyrim. Reminds me of Snuff. It's always funny, like, when you talk to people, like, you know, your friends that do, do drugs. And you tell, talk, tell them, like, have you ever tried this drug that's in a video game? And they're like, what's that? <laughs> you know? And then <laughs> I was in a Twitch chat what before for one of my buddies, he streams, he says D DJ. And they were talking about stuff like that. Hey, I don't like the look you're giving me, mister. Ack, where do you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Who sent you, Seawolf? Here, take this pouch and give it to Seawolf. And tell him I meant to pay him back, I swear. I just got a little drunk and lost my way, and you know how things are. He'll understand. You don't have to get rough. See you later. Okay. I'm gonna find out the name of the of the Khajiit. Khajiit drug. Skyrim. 
Yeah, skooma. <laughs> like, have you guys ever tried skooma? They're like, what the heck is that? And then I just uh, went to the wiki and gave out the description. They're like, wow, that sounds fucked up. I thought that was hilarious. Well, they also got moon sugar. That's a funny one, too. But yeah, I was just doing that. I was having some fun. Probably more funny than me, to me Good than to anybody you. else. Return to McKinley. Here, here, Travice. Did you get Shaky's payment? Hehe, <laughs> well done. And when you showed Shaky those giblets, how hard did he shake? Ha. Ah. He's so easy to read. When I play cards with him, I can't help but win. Thanks for your help, Travice. Now it's your turn to get paid. Voodoo dues. My list is shortening, but there are still people who owe me. Next we have Maury, Clubfoot, Wilkins, John John the Crow, and Chucky Ten Thumbs. Those scurvy dogs' debts are months outstanding, and I thought they skipped town to avoid paying up. Later I heard they're cursed and bewitched, and now wander the jungle ruins. I don't care what their fate is, I want what's mine. They're at the ruins of Abaraz, and the ruins of Jubawal, northeast of here. Find them and collect. Holy Alliance. Never actually went into the basement of this guy's place. Well, it's actually got some goblins. Mm, booty, bunch of booty bay bruisers. Auctioneer Kresge. I didn't know there was an auction house down here. Tuck that iron ore up there. Is this like a... This is probably... The one of those other auctions. Yeah. This is a... You know, cross faction one. One thing I thought that was interesting is that now in retail, I never knew this, but all auction houses are cross faction. So there is no more, like, you know, secret cross faction auction house in Booty Bay anymore. It does It's just pretty much a regular auction house. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, maybe we'll keep questing Booty Bay, but hopefully. We can get into a Zulfarak. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.